the argument that I made in court on flight risk is that obviously there's a lot of press coverage on this case. Everyone knows who this gentleman is now. He's not a multi-billionaire who has the financial resources to play a, uh, what did I say, an international game of hide-and-go-seek with the government. I think that is a, honestly, I think risk of flight is a non-issue. There are conditions, I think, that can be imposed to assure that he'll stay around to fight the charges, which is what he wants to do. What I said in court was that I believe the evidence in the complaint is equally as capable of reaching the conclusion that Mr. Rana was unwitting, did not know uh, what plans Mr. Headley had in his head. And, and I think that's, uh, you know, I can tell you, you can read the complaint for yourself, but I think that's a conclusion that can be easily drawn from the complaint. Can you sum up on what basis he didn't know? The basis that they don't have evidence of his knowledge. And I, I don't think it's there in the complaint. And if you look at the, the conversations between Mr. Headley, individual A, and the other individuals, not Mr. Rana, are are much more detailed conversations where I, I think you might be able to draw the conclusion that somebody had knowledge, but not with Mr. Ron.